in five, four, three, two, one. Action. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, you guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Well, actually, you guys are lucky because I decided to join the YouTuber community. <laughs> but anyway, this is my first YouTube video, and I am excited to do a haul on the crayon case. So, this Cyber Monday, Sopa has 60% off her whole website on all her products from brushes, from um, eyeshadows, highlighter, everything was on sale. So, last year, I didn't make the cuts. I got on the website too late and everything was sold out. This year, I made sure I got my products this year. Um, so first, I just gotta say something about who did they go through to ship my stuff off? The US Postal. Because I heard them throw my package at the front door. Literally, it was a big old thump on the door. I mean, not on the door, on the ground. And I'm like, did these people just throw my package on the floor? And I went outside, and it was show sure enough my package. So, yeah. Back to y'all U.S. Postal people. I understand it's the holidays, and I'm pretty sure y'all working double hours or whatnot. I'm going to let you know, people hear you throwing a package. Because I heard y'all throw my package, and I ain't like that. Especially when I spent my hard working money on this. Treat my stuff nice, okay? All right. Anyway, so... This is how it looks. This is how it's packaged. See, they done ruined the box. Because I'm pretty sure when it left her facility, it was in good tag. My box, mm -mm. I want my box. I want everything to be nice next time. But I got to come up there and whoop y'all butt. But anyway, so lovely tissue. It has her brand name on it. I don't know if you guys can see it. Crayon case, that's unique or whatever. So, this is just the rundown of everything that I ordered. So, the whole total, if you guys can see, would have came up to... Try to focus this some. Can't see. Come on. You can do better than that. So, my whole total would have been $159. But I think I got all my products for $60. So, you know that was a big deal. Um, And I remember I had $90 off my whole purchase. Okay? So, yeah. Everything. You can see, you know, they in there working. They putting their checks. When they put the stuff in the box, they check that off for me. You know, I had two sponges. They made sure they circled that to make sure you give me my two sponges. Okay. Anyway, so let's start because I'm so excited. So I purchased not just one, but I purchased two sponges. Um, I'm going to see what this is about. It's my first time trying the one with the tilt like that um and i was gonna purchase one and then my best friend was like girl you better get you two these was the best sponges i ever had in my life so i was like okay let me get two let me see how it feels <coughs> i'm getting over a cold okay so it feel like the regular sponges it feel good quality um and i'm excited to see what it do you know i mean doing all that with it the next product that I purchased, well, actually, I want to start with the brushes. So, I purchased the Pencil in Your Shadow, the Pencil Brushes, Real Wood, number two, seven of them. It's so cute. It reminds me of the crayon, I meant not the crayon, the pencil box, the actual pencil box. Um, and then on the back, says pencil in your shadow shadow blending pencils um has her website at the bottom as well as it lets you know that it's cruelty free okay so nothing here is made with animals let's take a look at these so i'm guessing these are the brushes for your shadows eyeshadow only um and i'm excited blending brush shadow small cream blush brush 
small shadow blenders. So yes, this, all these are for um, blending in your eyeshadow. And you could probably use it for um, other areas on your face. But I'm excited to try these. And I'm going to do another video once I um, beat my face for the first time with all of her products. I'm going to show you a video on that as well. I'm going to come back and do another one and talk to you guys. I may do a topic discussion. <coughs> I was just buying brushes. Um, because I want to get rid of my old brush, old brushes that I have. So I'm excited to um give these a try. I don't know what this is used for, but I'm gonna make good use of it. If you know what I can use this for, y'all go ahead and comment that for me. Um, by the way, I don't consider myself to be a beginner makeup. I'm not a makeup artist, but I like to do my own makeup on my face. Um, I don't consider myself a beginner. I think I'm more of an intermediate level. I'm not no events because I don't do other people's makeup. And it's not just because I don't do other people's makeup. I still haven't yet mastered doing eyeshadow. Sometimes I would just throw it on with my hands. People be like, oh, it's cute. And I'm like, what? I just do this on with my fingers. But other than that... My next goal with um doing makeup is doing like the over exaggerated glam look with the eyeshadow, like the glitter and all that. But back to the brushes. So I got this brush as well. I'm guessing this is used to put on blush. I don't know. I don't really know. I would just purchase the stuff to be honest. But if you know what I could use this for, go ahead and comment that but i think it's a blush brush it looked like a blush brush and to be honest i'm the type i would use any brush as long as it got the hair on it i would use it i would make use of it in some kind of way <coughs> <coughs> and i think the last brush that i have is the eyebrow brush so the spoon I can use for my eyebrows and then I can go back and I can use this as the concealer to clean it up with the concealer. Okay. I'm excited to use this too. I should have brought the brush cleaner. I didn't get that, but I should have gotten it. But I'm going to go back and get more stuff. I want everything on the website. Oh. I really wanted to do the um, lip gloss first because I was going to put one on. So, I purchased the What color is this? This box is cute. It's like, you know, the student crayon cutie. It says homeroom slay academy. And then the teacher is the crayon case. That's cute. Um, Me, I'm very picky. When it comes to the type of lip gloss, lipstick, or whatever that goes on my lip. Because everything do not look right on me at all. <clears throat> but I'm excited to give this a try. Let's see. And this is called Private Party. Why I get so blurry when I get close? What y'all do? Y'all do this, right? You still can't see it's called Private Party. Okay. I'm feeling this already. Okay. And then I just, and this is one of the reasons why I don't like every type of um, lip gloss or lipstick. Because in here, mm, it covers it. Because most stuff, I would do this all day, and it would not cover that spot. I don't know why. But, okay. My lips. It's popping. My lip gloss is popping, popping. So, yeah. This is private party. And, of course, I'm going to go back and purchase more stuff. I just wanted to give it a try. <coughs> 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 I 
And then the other one I got is Graveyard. You know it's fall time, and I love to wear dark lips when it's fall. And again, uh, especially like matte lips and stuff. Oh, matte stuff don't really look right on my lips. So when I find a product that fits perfect on my lips, I normally stay with that product forever. Until I find another one, a new one. Ooh, this look nice. Graveyard. Ooh, I'm going to put this on too. Ew, why did I do that? All right, let me do this. Whatever, I'm just feeling it. And then with the dark, you gotta be careful. Cause that thing get on your teeth. And then you'll be walking around all day with a little stain on your teeth. You don't talk to all these people. You done talk to all these people. You been hee hee ha ha with all these people. You all in these people's face. And not one person tell you. You got a little ha right down your teeth. When I be the main one. Girl, you Me, you got some. I will. You the devil. Oh, man. But people do not do that to you. At all. Another thing that I hate, too. That people do. You have some little sun in your tea. All right, though. Sometimes, you know, when you eat some collard greens or whatever, that little piece that gets stuck, you could be ha ha, kicking in people's face all day. And they won't tell you you got a little black spot in your teeth. Like, come on, help us out. That's why I always kept a mirror on my desk. Because before I go kicking and smiling in somebody's face, I just quickly. Hmm. Okay, all right, let's talk. Okay. Clean it up. Pow. Okay. Let's see a little close up. That look pretty. Okay. So I'm definitely fucking. Ooh, oh, I tried not to cuss. Uh, I'm definitely turned on by Graveyard, you know? So the lips are good. So I got me a loose leaf makeup wipes i'm gonna see what these are about um they say it works very well um they said it also helps with taking off your wigs too so i'm excited to see what it's about because you know the wigs sometimes they get stuck in that one little spot it be acting like you don't want to move okay we're just gonna put that there next on my list what is this in this beautiful box the chalk the setting powder which one i got a um <coughs> i couldn't decide on which one to get um i was just honestly going by what um the crayon case page was giving um folks um i was asking them hey do you know what color i should be and they were just ignore me so when I noticed that other people were asking and they were giving them the letter, um, I was just going on that page and I was just peeping out other people's skin tone. And um, mainly the people who had a skin tone that was close to mine, they were always giving them an A. So I was like, okay, well, I'm an A. It made it easy. You know what? I, I wasn't going to aggravate them. People, you know, keep asking the same question when they didn't see me. And it's probably because... They got a whole lot of people asking them, trying to hurry up and decide on what chalk does letter to get before um, the sale started. So, this is so cute. Like, oh my gosh. I think when I'm done, I'm not even going to throw away the container. Just do something else with it. But, um, it's a chalk dust setting powder. And me, I always got my little setting powder from the Beauty Swallows, so, so, this is my first time. How the heck you open this? Oh, you just... It don't twist, you guys. You just open it. <laughs> I'm twisting it. You just pull it open. Um, yeah, like I was saying, I normally purchase my um, powder from the beauty supply store. So this is my first time try trying um, a different brand other than the brand at the beauty supply store. Oh, 
got a piece of tape. Dang. Dang. Ooh. Okay. So I, I guess that helps when the postal service go throwing your package. You know the powder won't be all over the stuff. Cause I hurt that that thing said. Dum. I'm like, I know that wasn't my damn package they just threw. They must have lost their mind. People don't must not know about me. So let's see. And I don't know why I put this on before I put the concealer. I want to put the concealer on too, but it can't make no sense to put it on. And I only just did my eyebrows for this video. I didn't do much makeup because I just came from work and I, I don't wear makeup at all. Um, I normally will put like my eye eyelash on, but in the morning. It take me a long time to do my makeup hair. That's why I like to just wear plaits when I have to go to work. Um, because plaits are like, you know, quick little dudes that I don't have to do much in the morning because I will be late. When I tell you, I will probably be like two hours late every morning. If I have to wake up, do my eyebrow, because I ain't waking up no earlier. I already wake up at five o'clock in the morning. I'm not waking up no earlier. So I would definitely be late. And I'll tell you late. If I have to do flat iron my hair and do my makeup. But like on Mondays are the days that I will throw on a lash. I would normally look nice on Mondays. Because it just set the tone for the rest of the week. Um, so I'm going to take this brush and I'm just going to brush it out. That's what I could use this brush for. Mm -hmm. And voila. Mm, okay. Next product will be the Let's do this. The In Glola Highlighter Powder. Oh, that looks like it's about to give me a nice glow. But you know what? Before I put try this, I want to try out the highlighter. So let me tell you about this highlighter, right? I didn't know what number to get. I was literally guessing it. When I was on the page looking at like the different tones, when I was on um her website looking at the different tones, I could not decide which tone would be best for me. So just um just like how I had to do with the chalk dust, like the people that was answering, um well the crayon case that was answering to the people questions, I was like, okay, well how color highlighter, what chalk dust? I was just doing the same thing. And then also, I was like looking at the tones and I was trying to compare it with my skin tone and stuff like that. And I came to find that I think 14 would be the best. And I just guessed. And looking at it, it's actually too bright. <coughs> it actually looks like it's perfect. So I'm going to take a look at this. See how it comes on my skin. But you know what? No. I'm not going to put this on my skin because I don't want to mess up any of my brushes right now. But, yeah. And it's so cute. And if I like it, well, if I love it, I think I'm just going to buy my highlighters from the crayon case. So, let's get into... Look at that glow. Oh, my God. I'm about to be freaking glowing on y'all to try this look at that color it gives like a you know a bronze bronze more on the bronze side okay you must got this tape oh my gosh just gonna put this on i'm not gonna put much on i'm just gonna see how it comes out
Okay. Okay. What is it called? In Inglola. All right, Inglola. Glow me up, please. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Definitely gonna be the life of the party with this. Um, huh? I don't know if I'm doing this right. I'm just putting stuff on. Um, I every time when I do my makeup, I try a different technique. I try to find something that works best or a quicker way to get, especially with my eyebrows. I'm always trying different techniques. I had to dig it on my shirt. Okay, the only thing I would say about um this and Glola, it it is it's getting stuck on uh, stuck to me. So I, I'm guessing when you put this on, make sure you don't have the outfit on because it's not coming out my pants whatsoever. Gosh, I know me wear my pants like two or three times before I wash them. I'm gonna have to wash these. Okay, so yeah, get the try the Anglola. Um, every month I'm gonna try to buy like things that I already don't have from her website. Like I want to purchase all the highlighters. I mean, all the yeah, highlighter powder. Okay, y'all see that glow though. Y'all see me. And I don't even have a full face. Wow. And I'm already doing something with this, baby. I'm telling y'all, when I do my makeup, y'all better get out my way. All right. Next product will be what to do next. Ooh. Let's do the Limey Liquid Eyeliner. It has a fine print. <coughs> so... I'm going to say this is oh come on uh, guess I have to do it this way I don't know I just wanted to come out okay there it is this is so cute it gives the Milan stop please making too much noise in my video this give me the permanent marker look. Let's see, the limey, limey, please. <laughs> anyway, this is my first time trying one that's like in a tube like this, cause I always get like. No, I lied. I tried this one before. <laughs> um, but yeah, I always get the one in the tube like this. I thought I don't know why I thought it was. You just take the top off and it's just. I had to explain it. Like, this is on, like, this in there. And I thought, you know, the one that you just squeeze and it just come out. I don't know. But, yeah, let me try. Because I didn't put on any eyeliner because I wanted to try this eyeliner. So, I'm going to try it. Let's see. So, and I see it's really, like, you know, it's thin. Uh, it will help me, you know, give me an angle at the end. Like that. Wow. And I mean, it would be hard for me to do that. Or I can always do this one, and I can never do this one to look like that. So when I'm done with my makeup, I always wipe them off. Because <laughs> they be looking so ugly with well, this side. And shoot, this is like a permanent marker. It won't come off. So again, be careful. Try not to put this on you. But I guess when you're done, you can take the loose leaf and clean yourself up. Um, let's try the other eye. And let's see. See? Like I said. But you can't really see. By the way, get into my lashes. I um got my lashes from Mink Mania. This company is located in Tallahassee, Florida, Mink Mania. And you can follow her on Instagram. I love these. I actually get a lot of compliments on these. I don't think these going anywhere. Oh, I hate when I got cold in my eye. 
Um, next product will be uh -oh. the contour. No, I'm sorry, I'm saying it wrong. The contorsition notebook. Hey. So that's how it looks. And then, of course, on the front, it kind of gives you a guideline of where you uh, will put each color. And she's looking like, yeah, girl, slay me, girl. <laughs> anyway, let's take this off. Okay, so it comes off. Okay, that's just, you know, thought that was it. But on this, you can't really see. So keep this. Don't throw this away because it's to help you, you know, lay, lay your makeup down. You know, and so it's a lot of colors, and I also see people using these colors on their eyeshadow too. Um, I noticed that too. So I'm guess I'm probably gonna be playing around more with the, cause sometimes even though it do give the outline, sometimes I don't really follow the outline like that. I kind of wish they had the label of, you know, the names of these or where they should go. Um, I'm excited to try. The Bricky and the Bobby. I think those probably will be like the main two that I'm going to be playing around with. But I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to play around with this. Let's see how this comes off. Okay, let's see how that was the bricky. Let's see how the bobby. I think the bobby is gonna give me more of the hard contour look. Yeah, I like that look. This too light. This give me that. Mm. Yes, Bobby. Yes, Bobby. So Bobby gonna be it. I wonder what trophy do. Let's see. Let's go. Trophy kind of giving me holler. I think I would probably turn Trophy into an eyeshadow. Um, and the other one's probably just going to sit in there. I don't know. Unless I got a friend who come over and say she needs some contour and they go with her color. Other than that, I don't you really use much of like all the contour that comes in it. I just use that one that I find and I just use it until it's gone. But now... The moment we all been waiting for. Oh, I, I had to set up while I do my little spin. The moment we all been waiting for. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? The MacBook. Oh, <laughs> this. What I have really been waiting for eyeshadow. When I tell you, the last time I purchased eyeshadow was probably like a year or two ago. I rarely purchase eyeshadow. I rarely use it like that. If I do, it'd be a quick rub, tap, rub, tap, put out, boom, let's go. Type of eyeshadow girl, right? But this... <laughs> <laughs> man this highlighter is whoa giving me like i didn't even do a full face and it looked like i got a full face all right what <laughs> anyway <sighs> when i tell you i've been waiting for this people like the reviews the other youtube videos i have been looking at like the pigment and everything i'm just so ready to try and it's so cute Book. It's so cute. Anyway, let's open. So, it has so many colors to choose from. So many shades. You could tell your um neutral, natural colors on the side. <coughs> and then your colors, like whoa i cannot wait like 
I really want to beat my face tonight, but I'm going to wait till I take my plaits out and y'all gonna see what my hair is gonna look like for Christmas and I'm gonna wait till Christmas to beat my face with this so how many days till Christmas when we got 18 days I'm gonna wait those eight matter of fact I'm gonna beat my face Christmas Eve and on Christmas okay anyway I just want to try a color I am going to try the I'm feeling this purple. Oh, they got orange and green next to each other. Shout out to the Rattlers. Um, no, I take that back. Burgundy, because that's my fit. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to try this pink. I'm going to try pink. I'm sorry, y'all. Sometimes I can be a little indecisive. It's just so many colors to choose from. I don't know which one to go with. But I'm going to try this pink. Uh, I think I'm going to try that purple. I'm just going to try those two. Let's see what's going to happen. Let's use the brush I already used. Okay, because I don't feel like cleaning. I don't want to mess up none of my brushes whatsoever. I could have just pulled out my old brushes, but it's going to take time. So again, I'm going to try this pink. So I'm just going to dab it like twice and let's see what's going to happen. <laughs> and I think I'm just going to put this in a corner here. I did put a base on. So it probably would have showed up brighter or you know what instead of tapping it i'm gonna rub it a little harder i just didn't want you know how when you rub it and then it start falling i ain't wanted to mess up my map book <laughs> not just yet like this crayon case has been on my list like i am so i was so ready to try and i said i was gonna try the purple let's see And we're just gonna put it so you can still see that highlighter. Oh my god, it's so cute! Oh my god, oh yeah, yeah. Let's do it again on this way. So I just wrote there, then we're gonna do it like this. You know what? I don't like to put eyeshadow on um, after my lashes because it'd be messing up my lashes. And then we're gonna try this purple again. This purple is like everything, I tell you. Like, shoot, I may be wearing this purple for a little minute. Oh my god. Oh my god. He matched my lip. <laughs> okay. And because I don't want it to mess up my MacBook. Ooh, a little spit got on it. Um I don't want to mess up my MacBook. And then I think I'm just going to try, like, some colors at the top. I'm going to play around with, y'all can see. I'm going to play around with this one and see what it do to me. See what it do to me. See what it do to me. Y'all. And I've been watching YouTube. Like, I ain't going to lie. I am not good with eyeshadow. Like, I could fake the phone because I'm... I could fake the font by just using natural colors. That's how I do it. But other than that, I don't know how to do it. But I, I have been watching videos so I can get better. And I have been watching like the crayon cutie videos so that I can get better with this product. And they be saying stuff like, you know, go with the crease. Don't um open your eyes. Keep it closed. All that. You know, so I try to remember what they be saying. But shoot, I just, I'm going to get better at it though. I be seeing put some in the crease. Sometimes I be seeing like they people be seeing put some white. <laughs> yeah, you know they give it. They say they be giving it like the shimmer look. I don't know, but I can definitely see the difference. I get that. So let's, let's try. I forgot what color I did. I think I did this one, and I put this in the crease. And then, I don't know, I think I mixed it up. Oh, well. And then put that on top. I don't know what I'm doing now. But let's see if you could tell my flaws close up. We're back. We're back. But that's it, you guys. 
I just wanted to unbox my crayon case box with you guys and I am so excited to beat my face and I will upload a video with my face beat using this and then I also want to do some like topic and discussions you know and I'm gonna do that with my beat face from the crayon case okay but anyway thank you guys for watching my video go ahead and like comment and oh don't forget to subscribe baby go ahead and subscribe to my youtube channel um i am a newbie to youtube this was my first official video um on being a, a youtuber so please y'all make sure y'all support me make sure you subscribe make sure you leave positive comments um you know and you could leave critique but please be as positive because i'm a human i do have feelings and i'm gonna tell you i'm sensitive about my videos all okay? right so check me out and go ahead and share this okay peace peace be still <laughs> let's try it again okay no